This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm in central London today for the press conference of Derek Chisora versus Malik Scott. With me, I've got the main man from Queensbury Promotions, Mr. Francis Warren. What's happening, sir? How you getting on? Good. Not so good. You've come here. You've, you've lost three stone. You're making me look anemic on the camera. You're making me look fat. What's going on? I thought you were the fighter now, these days. I was a chance to train would be a good thing. Yeah, well, you know, you're, you're, I've seen all these videos. You're jet-setting all over the world at the minute, aren't you? So, uh, actually, no, you do half days. He's jet-setting all over the world. I mean, half day helder. You class Scotland as going jet-setting while, while the big uns are away. Easy jet-setting, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, but no, is it true your real, your nickname's half day helder? I'll take that. Yeah. I will take that all day long. Right. I will. Honestly, will. Good, good. You need to get, you need to start working a bit harder. I need to get down the gym. My record of zero. My record of zero 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 one. Needs a bit of work. I said earlier, I think you and Coogan should have a, have a fight for charity. Not have it with me. No? No reckon? Nah, he'd be out of stamina one round, wouldn't he? He'd be busted. I'm sure if we raise enough money, we, we could sort it out. Listen, if you guys put us in an arena and we on an undercard charity thing, arena, we'll have it. Sure. If you put us if you put, if you put us in a big arena, we'll have it, you know. With a phone box, you can feel that. I think it's big enough. I think it's big enough, I really do. It's a it's a grudge match. It's a grudge match. I want these two to have a, have a fight for charity. I'll have it with him, Frank. I'll have it with him. I will. We'd film that. I reckon it'd get a few views. Yeah. A few as in like two. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What else is happening? Coogan says if you put it on Box Nation, we'll do it. Yeah. I don't, what if I like spark him in like eight seconds? We put it on. Make it happen. We put it on. Massive incentive. Go on. Yeah, for we do it for charity. We do it for London Xboxers Association. Has there ever been like a charity bout comedy thing on on a show beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> It will get Richard Maynard to do some stand-up before it. I said comedy. I said comedy. Yeah. All right, Del. It's getting involved. Yeah. So what else is happening? Yeah, everything's all right. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit um, stuff regarding Queensbury. Obviously, John Ryder, Billy Joe Saunders. Could you talk to me a little bit about that? What's going on? Well, Billy's fighting um, in July uh, on the Wembley Bill, and um, then we'll be looking to to uh, progress. Billy onto uh, the John Ryder fight after that, but first and foremost he's got a, he's got a, you know got a great fight, a great fight with um, Gary O'Sullivan, um, and the winner of that will, um, will, will, will either Gary will retain his top ten ranking or Billy will um, you know progress upwards, but that is a massive massive fight. I think um, you know fans are in for a real, real really in for a good treat for that one with that one, um, and then um, and then he can fill his focus on um, Ryder after that. Was, it, was this fight put in because the dates obviously haven't been announced and it's going to be a little, a little while forthcoming with the, with the date for that fight? No, it's a fight we wanted to make for a while um, and the opportunity came up for, it to, for us to make it and we've done it. Let's talk a little bit about Kevin Mitchell. Uh, I was under the impression he was signed to Queensbury. I, I don't know all the ins and outs. Could you, could you talk to me a little bit about that? Well, there's not much to say really. He's signed to, he's signed to Queensbury Promotions uh, for a further five fights, an exclusive promotional contract. Um... But uh, you know, as far as he's concerned, and as far as a certain other organisation is concerned, apparently that you know the, the contracts don't mean don't mean shit, and it's just it's just ridiculous. But you know, it's uh, it's with the lawyers, and um, which is a phrase that we seem to be using quite a bit at the moment. But it's with the lawyers, and you know, it's, it's something that will be resolved. Um, it's an ironclad contract, as are all of our contracts. Um, and uh, Kevin Mitchell was a, he signed to Queensbury Promotions. If 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 anyone wanted to use you know, uh, to, to to put Kevin Kevin on a show, or to, to re request his services on a, on a on a see you later, Charles, or request his, you know request his services to fight on another card or on someone else's show, then he should make an approach to us, not you know just hold press conferences and be signing fighters that, that that quite clearly are under contract. So was it quite disappointing from a Queensbury point of view that you wasn't approached and wasn't wasn't took on the, the formal correct channel? Disappointing, but. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't sit there getting up thinking, oh, I'm really disappointed with Kevin. I just at the end of the day, he's done what he's done. He feels he's got, you know, the, the rights to do it, but, it, but it, it, he's incorrect. And it's like I said, it's with the solicitors, and uh, it will be dealt with. Okay, I'm sure these things, like everything, have le legal ramifications and some stuff we we can't go into, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it, it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. You know, I mean, what is the disappointment is that after a uh, you know a, a long association with Kevin, that. And, and you know, he's, he has, you know, he's, he's the one who's not been calling us back, um, not 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 taking calls, even though we've invited him to, to to come and sit down and talk about his next move. No one's delivered more for Kevin Mitchell than we have, and more than than the, my dad has. Well, he's delivered a world title against Casillas, a world title against Ricky Burns, so. which you know, which which didn't go right for him. 
we stood by him, got him back on track. And there was no reason why we couldn't, you know, go for a third attempt at it. But, you know, what he's done, he's done. And, um, yeah, it's, it's an unfortunate situation. But, yeah, it's a disappointment that Kevin felt that, that that's his, this is the best way he could go. But f further than that, we just let the lawyers deal with it. We've got, we got bigger fish to fry. Speaking of which, Carl Frampton's just joined the stable, the camp today. Talk to me a bit about that. Absolutely, having the moon with it. Um, you know, delighted he's going to be on July the 20th at Wembley. Um, and then what I'm really looking forward to is, is seeing him in Belfast. Um, and, you know, seeing the place rocking for the, 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 the second, third and fourth fight. Um, which, which is going to be uh, an experience. We've, you know, I've worked over in Belfast for a few fights on a couple of Rogan bills. Um, and there's no crowd like it. It's unbelievable. They're absolutely amazing, the Belfast fans, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fantastic venues over there and uh, great crowds. A lot of people ask me, Frampton, Scott Quigg, do you think that's a fight you guys can make in a couple of fights' time or somewhere down the line? Could you talk to me a little bit about that? I've always, always wanted to see that fight. Um, I suppose with, with developments today, we're one step closer to us trying to make it. Um, it's something that I will try and work on if, if, it's, if it's a possibility. If it's not, then you know there's plenty of other avenues for Carl to go down, um, and between my dad and Barry and the rest of the team, um, you know, Carl will be guided to the right place, but you know, at the right time. Do we anticipate you guys building Carl more in Belfast than than in 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 England? That's the right move for Carl. Um, you know, his, his last fight, he's, I think he banged the place out, um, and you know, like I said, the crowd and the noise was fantastic and. Be, it, be, it would be, an, I think, a mistake not to build on that. Do you think you can anticipate signing some more Irish fighters or will you link up with someone and maybe let them handle kind of the undercard thing to build the Irish support? Yeah, I mean, if, if, definitely, if the quality is there, then we'll, try, you know, as, 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 as my man said in the press conference, it's, that's the business that, that we're in is to sign quality fighters. Um, so, yeah, of course, if, if, if the opportunity arises to sign top quality fighters from, from Ireland or from Timbuktu, we'll be, we'll be trying to sign them. I asked uh, Barry McGuigan a question in the press conference. I think I've rattled your old man a little bit. I thought he was going to get up and put one on me for a minute. Um, I'll ask you the same question. Yeah, I about your fighting skills, you wouldn't do that. I, I think Frank would take me, to be honest. Yeah, so I. I, I honestly think he would. I, I wouldn't chance it. <laughs> yeah, especially wearing that hat, he would. <laughs> Did you just mock WP Fred's hats? <laughs> Listen, that is it. <laughs> Whose hats? These are given to me you by a company, friends. My, my friend's company called WB Freds, so I kindly... Go to WB Freds. I kindly said like, I would wear the hats and would you like a hat? Would, no. would, is this something you would wear? No, it's not. Not unless I was going to sweep a chimney. So I'm queuing myself <laughs> up in here. Queuing myself up here for, for not good. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bring the banter today. I'm just going to accept that. I'm going to let you belittle my hats. I'm just going to take it, on, take it on board. <laughs> just going to take it on board. Um... So what else is going on with Queensbury? When can we no, anticipate? About, sorry, oh yeah, sorry. I lost my lost my place there a little bit. Uh, I asked your dad whether, or I asked Barry whether he would be co-promoting Carl Frampton as well as managing him, because a lot of the people, internet forums were messaging me, ask this, ask that, as they do. So I talked to you a little bit about that again. What's going on there? Yeah, it's just um, as was said in the press conference. That's you know, I think Barry is going to be a co-promoter in on uh, Carl's fights. Um, I think obviously this show is up and running. This is this is a Frank Warren promotion show, and then after that, um, that's that's you know as was said in the press conference, that's that's the situation. Okay. What's going I'm on? Happy to be you know in that situation. You know we get you know we as an organisation and as a, as a channel get to produce and, and and help and work with and promote you know the biggest biggest one of the biggest names in uh, British boxing. The stuff for the spin on Box Nation, the absolutely massive fights of late. Is there any other big American fights you guys are trying to pull in at the moment or stuff that's going on? Yeah, we're working on some really good stuff, um, which details of which we should have next week. Um, we've had a massive couple of, last couple of months. Absolutely massive. As can I say, well done. You guys should be commended for getting the fights on Box Nation that you have done. I mean, if you think back to the beginning when everyone said that this, isn't, you know, this is only going to last six months, to, to what we've achieved over the last 18 months and produced over the last two months alone um, is, I think it's beyond even our expectations. Um, you know, we're just absolutely delighted with the response we've got from the fans, first and foremost, you know, the support that they've shown us. But, we, you know, but the reason why they've shown us that support is because of what we've delivered and, and what we've pulled in. You know, Nathan, Amir, um, you know, domestically, and, what, and then Martinez and Murray and, you know, and, and Mayweather. It's, that was in three weeks. Absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. 
I go as far as to say I think Derek Chisora, David Hay fight was what put Box Nation on the map. And I think since then you guys have realistically gone from strength to strength with the fights, calibre of fighters you're getting on there. It was a great springboard for, for the success that we're having now. I still believe it would have got there with or without it, but the fact of the matter is that was a massive event. It was, you know, it was one, that was the, one of the biggest domestic fights of the past decade. One of the best shows I've been to. Um, you know, outside West Ham, even in the peeing rain, it was, it was still the atmosphere was fantastic. Who's been doing your air up north? Talk to me. Is it that bad that I need one of the mats? I, I think we're going to have to get him a hat, Coke. Honestly, I'm not taking any more. You know, it took you that long to come up with a comeback. Jesus Christ, you need to work on your comeback skill. Well, well it is. I, I don't try to, I try to stay off the banner, you know what I mean? That's Coogan's thing. I just... Because you're not funny. Cut, right, let's cut him off. <laughs> no, no, but what it is, like, if you get two things that are the same, it's like, it just wouldn't work. So I try to be a bit more serious. Obviously, I'm, Coogan is a very, very funny man. He is a very funny man. Funny looking man, he, he amuses people, but that's not my thing, do you know what I mean? If I, if I tried to be Coogan, I'd, I'd probably fail. Unamusing. unamusing, unassuming, um, just yeah, just do me, you know? What else are you guys working on? What's we working on? We're working um, on the Sugar Hut TV what stuff. Or at Sugar Hut? That's pretty much our life, yeah. boxing to Sugar Hut, boxing to Sugar Hut. Life, you guys have got it sussed. It's all right, it well, is all right. Get a job you lot. Why don't you come down Sugar Hut with us one time? Oh, I don't know if they let me in man. Oh, you're married now anyway, aren't you? You're not allowed out with us guys anymore. Not quite, not quite. Ever home life, everything's settled, everything's going well? Absolutely, great mate. I've um, relocated up to Manchester. Um, just to get a few bits and pieces going on up there. So yeah, it's all good. Can we envisage some young Manchester prospects being signed to Queensbury then? You're going to have a look about? Yeah, we're on the, we're all, like I said, we're always on the hunt and, um, and always looking out for uh, you know fresh faces to, to get involved. Yeah. Um, been there, yeah, been doing a lot of work with some different people, people up there and uh, and further afield than that as well. All right, well, listen, I thank you for on answering my questions, uh, honestly. Thank you for mocking my hats and bringing the banter out on me. I know you've been saving it for a rainy day. This is... Does it? Look like a French painter. French painter. Uh -huh. Francois. Francois. Yeah. This is James Holder with Francois Warren for iFilm London. Just don't you.